What is going on, Eagles family? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I come bearing good news today. So thank you for taking the time. Appreciate you. If you have any questions, comments, you can feel free to leave them down below, whether you're watching this live or you're watching this later. I appreciate you taking the time, but let's jump right into this with some of that good news, baby. So we know that they were being precautious with Miles Sanders. We know that Jason Kelsey was getting some elbow surgery, lingering issue there. So they were cleaning some things up, hopefully be ready for week one. Well, they are both back at practice today. So you love to see it. As we knew, these guys would be hopefully ready to go. We've been talking about this, being precautious. You need your star players to be healthy. And with two guys that are dealing with two certain things, you yeah, obviously be precautious. So that's what the Eagles were doing. A lot of people losing their minds. Oh, this offseason was wild. Thankfully, everybody's changing their tune. But whew, uh, we got two of our studs back in the building. So you love to see it. So that is some great news. We're hoping that they will be ready for week one. Pretty sure they will be. So fantastic news. My man Christian in the building. Nice to see you, dude. Hope you're having yourself a great day so far. Uh, if any moves do get made, I will be back later. Um, we will be talking about this open roster spot when it is filled. We've got two open practice squad spots. Um, so let's talk about that. Uh, and we added someone and we talked about him yesterday. You know, um, I had mentioned that it was being reported that he was being signed to the practice squad, but he wasn't officially signed. Didn't matter because I threw him on anyway. So want to talk about him, though, because he was officially added and he was at practice today. So let's take a gander. I think he was rocking like something weird, 39 or something. But uh, LaMichael P. Ryan, uh, you know, he was a fourth round pick a couple years ago out of Florida. He was decent with the Gators. I remember this kid, but uh, 5'11", 216 pounds. He's only 24 years old. And he brings you a little bit something different than the other guys. You know, he's a little bit more. I'm not saying he's a power back because he's not. He brings uh, everything to the table. He can do it all. He's a jack of all trades. And I think he does run between tackles a little bit better than some of these guys. Um, but he's still young. He could still be coached up. I think there's uh, still a bright future for LaMichael Piran. We know that the Jets have a loaded backfield, so he was let go. But he's played in 14 games. He hasn't had any starts, but 3.7 yards per carry, two touchdowns. And look, this kid, you know, isn't going to have a huge role here. But one thing we talked about was adding someone that could help on special teams and you know, he can help as a gunner, but he could also help you in the return game a little, not the greatest returner. He's only had two kick returns in the NFL, but he has return experience. And that's something the Eagles can definitely try him out on because we're looking to add someone onto the roster. Could be somebody from the practice squad, could be someone from another team trade, whatever the hell, how he is up to, but we need some competition there. We know Reger's gone. So, do we bring up a Britton Covey? What are the Eagles' plans there? So a guy like uh, Michael Pirine is going to add to that competition. So I'll show you the full list of the practice squad in case you missed it yesterday. But you add him to that, and you've got three receivers there, and Allen, Kane, and Covey. You've got Brooks competing with Pirine as the running back, but I think Pirine's definitely got the edge there. Uh, Wasika and Tom on the offensive line. Togi at tight end. Reed Sinet at quarterback. And then a few defensive players. You see Matt Leo is the exemption there, but Sasha Ray, Ellis, Goodrich, Harris, Wilson. So one of the things we talked about is Anthony Harris could be added to this active roster, whether you need him week one. But we know that guaranteed money, if you're on that roster week one as a veteran, you get 100% guaranteed. If it's after week two, it's 25% guaranteed. So you could see a guy like Harris on the active roster on week three. So we will keep our ear to the grain there on all of these moves keep you up to date with what's going on with the practice squad. And, you know, you've only got, well, six on the defense. Matt Leo does not count. He is the international player program exemption there. So, uh, I mean, you've got nine guys there on offense. And again, Matt Leo doesn't count. So that's 14 players there. Um, so you still have two spots on the practice squad you could fill and you have an open active roster spot. So, if that happens today, I will let you know if it happens. Whenever it happens, I'm going to keep you up to date. So I appreciate you guys taking the time, but I just wanted to let you know that we got Miles. We got Jason back at practice. Great news. And P. Ryan is officially added to the Eagles practice squad. Make this video a long one. I got a 30-minute drive. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could, man. Got to get rolling out here, though. Uh, 
Yes, and we do have the best defense. And I'm actually working on that video. I talked about that earlier. We, uh, you know, the multiple scheme defense I've been trying to teach the media and fans about all off season. Just got another piece. So I'm going to add, you know, Chauncey Gardner Johnson in there and show you guys what he can do in these versatile schemes when you add versatile players. He's the perfect, literally, the versatile safety we were talking about that can play nickel corner. I mean, the guy's a nickel corner that can play safety, and we're going to have him as a safety. So perfect, 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 perfect. And I, I broke it down yesterday. Go check out that video if you want to hear that, my man. Uh, I made a bunch of videos yesterday, so you could definitely fill up your drive there. But I talked about, you know, Gardner Johnson and his versatility in the red zone. You can put him as the nickel. You could have Avante Maddox as free safety in the red zone. Not so much a fan of him as the free safety, but in the red zone, you know, you can have a CGJ taking on some of these bigger guys, the tight ends, receivers, things like that. So I really love the move. I think the Eagles continue to add, and we talked about this, stay patient. You remember the first week, free agents, everybody, oh, we're the new Browns, new Jets, this team is horrible, but it was like, dude, what are you guys talking about? The year of the Super Bowl, we were patient, we made the right moves, and the Eagles did that. So, uh, Roseman signed Reddick, Kaiser White, we drafted Davis, all those moves, trading for A.J. Brown, it's uh, getting Bradbury after. So, we just stay patient here, ladies and gentlemen, you never know, even more could come. So, uh, Devin Allen could get called up. I think we need more help in the return game, though, so that's why I mentioned Britton Covey. But talked about Devin Allen yesterday, bringing that special teams, you know, gunner. That is someone that can definitely help out. But there you got P. Ryan. So you've got competition here. This is what we need. Competition, competition. Hope the regular trade helps out our cast base. Yeah, well, we talked about this. It doesn't really. Uh, it would have hindered it if we just cut him. And that was the whole purpose of me saying, you can't just cut the kid. You have to try to trade him. So we go ahead. We trade him, and, you know, you got something in return, which is fantastic, very fantastic, but you lose out on the cash space, but you got a million in dead money, too, so it doesn't really do anything there. But yesterday, I made a video talking about how the Eagles could clear up more cap space. Top three ways, and I threw in a little bonus there, too, so go check out that video. I believe it's like five minutes, but gives you some of the things the Eagles would do. One of the things I've been talking about all offseason is give Javon Hargrave an extension. You will clear up cap space doing that, and you'll keep him around. So I would be all in on that. And once the numbers get cleared out, there's a lot of stuff going on. I will give you an updated cap space. I talked about it, though, yesterday in that video. So go check that out, my man, if you're interested. Uh, but, yeah, the numbers are very skewed right now. Jimmy for round two. Uh, yeah, let's go. You know it. And uh, let's hope for round three. Let's hope that. You know how he does something today that brings me back, but uh, I have to make this a little bit of a quick one here, but uh, I appreciate all of you taking the time. Nina back again. Love to see it. Christian, hope your drive home is safe, my man. Appreciate unspoken words. Now we got a new comment. Should we consider cross training Dean at safety? No, uh, but uh, that's a good question. He's got a good skill set, but that's why he will be the nickel linebacker. This is why it was so important when I was talking about pre-draft, why adding Devin Lloyd or Nicobe Dean was essential and adding Kaiser White as the veteran that could help them. And you got TJ Edwards, who's improving, but now you had a different type of linebacker. You've got Kaiser and Nicobe who can play nickel linebacker, which is a lot of the time in this defense, you're finding hybrid guys, Davey and Taylor, who used to play safety. So it's a great question. He's got the skill set to be able to do things like that, but you're not going to see him as a safety. He is going to be the linebacker of the future for the Philadelphia Eagles. and. That makes me very excited. But, yes, he's got a great skill set, so he can definitely cover, and that's something the Eagles have been lacking at linebacker. So in this league, you need guys like N'Kobe Dean who kind of remind you of the old-school safeties, right? So uh, it's a great question, but, um, yeah, he's going to hold it down at linebacker. He's going to see plenty of snaps. TJ Edwards, more of that run-stopping, getting better in coverage. But there are roles for everyone, the versatility. That's where that video is going to come into play. So hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on. You'll know when I'm going on. I'm going to try to get it this weekend. I want to do something with the NFC East too. So, But what I'm going to do is the same thing I did with all those multiple schemes, but I'm adding Gardner Johnson and showing you different positions he can play too. Moving other guys around, it's going to be – it's been fun trying to put it together, but it obviously takes forever with all those damn graphics. But, uh, yeah, man, I uh, love all the questions. Great questions here. Came to YouTube to watch highlights on Prime. It came across this. He is a good pickup. Hey, Mario, appreciate you taking the time, my man. And, you know, we're just breaking down right now, you know, LaMichael P. Ryan and the practice guys, but always down to talk about stuff. And you guys know I make a video on literally everything. So, Mario, if you would, my man, go check out the channel and, you know, check out all the videos from yesterday, breaking down literally every single move from the practice squad people to the regular trade to the Gardner-Johnson trade the day before, 
all of that great stuff. I am just trying to keep everybody up to date with what's actually going on because we know the media had everyone misinformed the entire all season. So all I did was try to educate people on first off the whole confusion was they thought we were switching to a defense that we had already ran last year. So that's why they didn't know we needed a nose tackle desperately, a Sam linebacker and Son Reddick. So broke those all down, my man. And it's been a great all season and we're getting everybody else on board with our birds because they've been, they've been talking slick all all season. Now they're finally seeming to flip flop. So it's nice, but uh, boy, has it been rough. It's uh, it's been tough trying to teach the media about, what an odd front looks like, what the multiple scheme defenses are. And Mario, go check that video out. Everybody loves that one. The multiple schemes teaching about, you know, three, four, five, two, and then the nickel with your even fronts, all that stuff. So I'm going to make another one though. So stay tuned. We got Gardner Johnson here, but just doing my best to try to get this fan base and the media off the Eagles ass and see that special things lie ahead. Oh, my man, appreciate you. And I look forward, you know, you can always comment on those, dude. I get back to every single comment of you guys, and I'm always down to talk birds. Some of you guys at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., wherever the hell you're doing, wherever you're at in the world, you know, because obviously some of you guys are in other countries, so it's not that late to you. But I love it, man. I really do. I love waking up, seeing that stuff. So whatever videos you're watching, whatever you're, you know, trying to figure out or get educated on, the cap, whatever, and I will make another cap video, all that stuff. But uh, there is definitely stuff out there for you guys to keep you occupied on your drives home or whatever you're doing. But Mario, truly appreciate you subscribing, my man. Hope you enjoy the content and look forward to getting down this season. Tuesday, we're starting. Obviously, you're new here. But last year, what I did was each week, I go through and every day we have something going on with the week. You know, obviously, Tuesday is the special day because on Mondays after the game day, clearly this Monday, we won't but I'll do highlights. We'll talk about the game, all that stuff. And then on Tuesday, on to the next week, it's called Behind Enemy Lines, and we break down the entire roster of the other squad. And then throughout the week, I keep you up to date with the injuries on both squads, everything that's going on throughout the week. And then as the season goes, obviously, we'll have standings and where people sit if they're good against the run, whatever, whatever. Then I have the top 10 matchups to watch, looking at you know each matchup each week, and it's just – it's something to try to get us by. And if you're like me, man, I just need Eagles 24-7. So I ended up creating this when I got sick, getting back to health. Obviously, you guys all out there other than Mario know that things were a little rough a couple weeks ago, but doing good, man. And uh, I can't wait to get to know you and talk some birds with you because this bad boy's growing and we're all getting very excited for this season. Perrine is a bigger Boston Scott. And that's the thing, you know, I'd mentioned earlier. He brings something to the table. Jack of all trades, just like Boston Scott. He's got special teams help but you know he i wouldn't again like i said at the beginning of the video not a power back but i think he runs a little bit harder than boston scott so hey maybe he gets brought up to the active roster only time will tell but ladies and gentlemen i do have to get rolling here i have to go pick up the little man from school but hopefully the eagles make some moves and i am returning later if not i'll be back tomorrow but until next time, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. But if you need me, you can always reach out, whether you want to talk about birds, life, whatever's going on. Always here for you guys, as you are me. And I've been uh, messing with the music, ladies and gentlemen, so no more getting in trouble for the music. Going to have some new music, so you don't have to just be in silence at the beginning and the end. But uh, working on that, so getting excited. But until next time, you guys all stay safe out there. And as always, go birds!